every day in Africa in the safari a lion wakes up and every single day in the safari a gazelle wakes up now this is critical what's the difference between a gazelle and what's the difference between the lion what I discovered is the gazelle is running from something so as long as the lion is chasing the gazelle the gazelle is running but as soon as the lion stops chasing the gazelle it stops and that's a lot of you in this room you will run you'll do what you're supposed to do as long as you're getting pushed as long as you're getting motivated, as long as somebody is encouraging you, as long as somebody's coaching you, as long as somebody's pushing you, as long as somebody's prodding you, you're doing what you're supposed to do. As long as somebody's calling you, as long as someone is enticing you, as long as somebody's giving you rewards, you're moving. But as soon as that stops, you stop. I asked myself the question about the lion, and I said the lion is not running to be rewarded. The lion is running to eat. Because the lion realizes when he kills the gazelle, not only does he eat the gazelle, but he brings it back home. So you've got to ask yourself, what's your why? What motivates you? What pushes you? What drives you? And if that thing is internal, if nobody has to call you, if nobody has to prod you, if nobody has to reward you, if you are self-motivated and self-regulated, you can have it, you can be it, you can do it. When you are a true hunter, you don't go by time, you go by the gazelle. You don't hunt from 8 to 3. Why? Because the gazelle may not be open from 8 to 3. You hunt until you get a gazelle and you don't stop until you get one. And then you get another, and then you get another, and you get another. Listen to me, a 9 to 5 person, they make a sale and they're excited. When you get to my level and you get one thing, then you try to get to the next level, then you try to get to the next level, then you try to get to the next level. A true hunter hunts. A true hunter's goal is not the prize. A true hunter's goal is to hunt. That's what they live for. They live to hunt. They don't just live to catch it. It's the whole process. I'm saying that some of you in this room, you might not be a lion yet. You might have small beginnings. You might not have a lot of money. You might not have a lot of resources, but there's no excuse. And I need you to understand, for those of you who are 70% beast mode, 30% gazelle, that's just enough for that other person, I'll do you. There are only 86,400 seconds in a day, and you gotta not only operate in them, you gotta do it quick. You gotta do it fast. You gotta do it in a hurry. Why? Because there's somebody else who's on the same track you are. Somebody else, they're on the same path that you are. It's somebody else just like you trying to do it. And sometimes they're working just as hard as you're working. They're putting in just as much sweat, just as much tears, just as much blood. But you just gotta do it what? You gotta do it faster than they do it. You gotta do it quicker than they do it. Are you listening to what I'm saying? That's why I wake up at three o'clock in the morning because if you're getting up at six, you might be smarter than me. You might. You might have more privilege than me. You might. You might have more resources than me. You might. But I'm going to get up earlier than you and I'm going to do it faster than you do it. So by the time you get up with all your resources, by the time you get up with all your privilege, by the time you get up with all your stuff, I've already finished the race. Are you hearing me? It's hard. Yup, it's hard. Yup, it's difficult. Yup, why? Because the process is weeding out the weak. It's weeding out the weak. And so sometimes you got to play hard. You got to play physical. You got to play tough because the game itself is tough. The game itself is hard, but I know you got what it takes. Listen to me, this is how you do it over six, seven years ago with no money, no human resources, no building, no funding, no support. The first thing we did was we dreamed, we wrote the dream down, we slept the dream, we ate the dream, we rehearsed the dream, we looked at the dream, we talked about the dream, we slept with the dream, we woke up to the dream, we wore the dream, and now boom, it's our reality. And for some of you, you stop dreaming. You dream for a week and you stop because things around you don't look good. You dream for a month and when you get hit in the mouth, you quit and you give up. You dream for a while and when people tell you crazy, and when people tell you stupid, and when people tell you can never get done, you stop dreaming and you go back to knowledge. And I dare you to use your imagination. I dare you when you broke to use your imagination. I dare you when you rich to use your imagination. I dare you under every single circumstance, keep dreaming, keep looking at your dream, keep focusing on your dream, keep going after the dream because that's where true success is. It means absolutely nothing if you don't take advantage of it in the lifetime of this opportunity. I got a saying that when life knocks you down, try and land on your back because if you can look up, you can get up. 
If you want a thing bad enough to go out and fight for, to work day and night for, to give up your time, your peace, and your sleep for, if all that you dream and scheme is about it, and life seems useless and worthless without it, see, it's time now. If you want to make this your decade, you've got to start saying yes to your life. You've got to start saying yes to your dreams, yes to your unfolding future, yes to your potential, as opposed to saying no. When you die, die on E. Leave no dream left behind, guys. Leave no opportunity left behind. When you leave this earth, accomplish every single thing you can accomplish. Listen to me, you're going to be here one day, but you'll never get here if you give up, if you give in, if you quit. And finally, guys, you gotta wanna succeed as bad as you wanna breathe.